Hello everyone, welcome back to Indivisible and Tai Krung. Last time we did some kind of weird and broken side quests. And this episode we're hopefully going to do not weird and broken side quests. So we're going to finish up Yans, And for that it seems like we have to walk up there to uh, Mara's place. So I'm going to work on heading up there and I will see you in just a minute. Alright. Here we are. So I think if we just go in here, we should start up her thing. Talk to you. I have business in Tai Krung, but there's nothing wrong with mixing in a little pleasure. Oh yeah, you're just that character. Oh, I just had to walk two steps more. Whoa, so many people showed up. It is quite a crowd. Yon looks so happy. Let's get this show on the road. Jeez, she's really going. Well, I've never seen that animation before. That was really cool. Wonder what move does that. Huh. Good job, Jan. A thousand eyes saw you and a thousand hands applauded for you. In your own way, you've eased some of the suffering in the world. Aw, thanks. Whoa, it's Ronnie. That was very Deva like Teehee. But it looks like I'm not the only one who was moved. Who the hell are you? You look like Shang Tsung. Yeah? What's up, Pops? Yan. You know my name? During the evacuation of Zhu Long 16 years ago, we lost you. We thought you had died. But then I saw that poster, and immediately I knew it was you. My little girl. Oh, did, did she not know that? She, she called him Pops, so I kind of assumed she knew that. Dad? I never thought I'd find you again, but here you are. And you've become such a magnificent dancer. Dad, it's so good to see you, so you were still alive. I'm sorry I never came to find you. I would if I'd known. That's okay, Dad. You're here now. Whoa, family reunion? We have so much to catch up on. We do, and we should totally do that. But there's a small matter of saving the world first. Yeah, I, I kind of really need you. We have to defeat Kala before I can think about having a home life again. I understand. You've got to live your life. I'll be waiting for you when you return. Just don't take too long. You can count on me. Hey, she's also much taller than her dad. The free-spirited Yan is dancing for herself. Hey. There we go. And here's the cute statue of Tarani. Alright, so that was Yans. We finished Gadira's. So now we just have to go to Almuda to do, um... Jeez, compons. So, what's probably the best way to get out of here? Uh, where's the teleporty spot for this place? I think it's that room? So yeah, uh, I'll head down there and, uh... See if I can remember how in the world we're supposed to get to Almuta. I know I did it in a prior episode. Um, at least I think that was Almuta. So I'll see if I can make it there again. Alright, so I've made it back to the Almuta Sands. I remembered that it's actually just to the right of uh, Port Marifa, so I just came that way. Rather than that um, one shortcut I found that one time. This seemed like a better idea, so I just decided to come here. I'm not exactly sure where in here her quest is, and the map is one of those weird disjointed maps. So we kind of just have to get to the map screen where we can actually see her side quest. I also see other things scattered around here to do. Yeah. So I guess we'll investigate some of those as well, probably. So yeah, it looks like there's Quite a lot going on here, actually. So yeah, why not investigate some? We haven't been back to this area in an incredibly long time, so... It makes sense that there's a lot of stuff here that we wouldn't know about. Ooh. That looks interesting. Is that something I can break through by doing this? It is. 
Hello, ring cell. How are you? I don't think there's anything down this, uh... Death pit? Yeah, there's nothing. Alright. Well, we can shortcut over here. Is there anything over here, though? No, this just leads to another part of the sands, it seems. Also has an invisible ceiling. Oh, it's one of these things again. Hi. Uh, apparently I can't do battle with you. All I can do is chop you up. That must be like some side quest or something, right? Because those things are all over the place, but I've never actually found a purpose to them. They're just kind of there. So I'm not really sure what they're about, but they must have some kind of purpose. Let's go ahead and hit up a save. Wow, we've been playing this game for 23 hours. It does not feel like it's been that long. What are you doing here, Goop? Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot in here, except for that one area down there that we can investigate. But, we haven't fought one of you before. Are you gonna be like your brothers and do damage to me? No. No, you're not. You're gonna, in fact, be a very boring blob, uh, creature. And just die very easily. So, there's that. Alright, do I want to go down there and get whatever that is? I mean, to be fair, I also don't really know where Kampan's uh, side quest is. Like, the location that I'm supposed to go to. So, investigating just about everything seems like it would be the way to go. And then, if I happen to find the place I'm supposed to go, fantastic. If I don't, then... Yeah, I can maybe look it up. Uh, hello. What was the point of that, sir? But yeah, this, uh, will probably be the last, uh, bit of these side quests that I do. Uh, can I just duck under you? Yeah, I can. Cool. I don't really want to fight everyone and their mother. Okay, we're almost down to this little spot. This is probably just a ring cell that I missed the first time that I came through here, if I had to wager a guess. Ooh, you're new. Hello. Would you like a murder? This is what happens when you're new. You get murdered. I have to kill one of everything. Unfortunately, this isn't one of the games that explains that these creatures are, like, inherently evil and deserve to die or anything. Um... We're just, we're just kind of beating up on wild puppers because we want to. They are aggressive, I suppose. So, gotta defend yourself and all that. <coughs> Disengaging power limiter. I would not even attempt to embarrass myself uh, by trying to do an uh, accent for Kampan. That, that would just... It, it would go horribly. Is uh, a good way to put it. Alright, we're almost there. Just a couple more flights of stairs. Ow. Well, you walked in front of me, so that's a death sentence for you, isn't it? I'm not, probably not going to be cutting these out. One, because I have been talking through them, I realize. But also, they just... They take seconds. So... Like, it's not even a full minute fight. It's like 15 seconds of fighting, I suppose. Plus, like I said, it is nice to actually have some combat in these episodes. Oh, I remember this puzzle. Isn't this the puzzle I was confused about? Because I was like, it seemed like a puzzle we needed to uh, interact with, but I couldn't. Like, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, I still can't figure out how to do it, actually. What am I supposed to do? That didn't work. Maybe if I do all three. Whoops, messed that up. I meant to do my dash. Okay, jump, do that, do that, and dash. No. Doesn't look like we can actually get past that spot. Oh, wait, isn't this the thing I... Yeah. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, no, we, we're not... That's not anything, I don't think. I don't even think I can get up there. Now that I think about it. Alright, well... I guess I will meet you... Over here? 
I suppose. It seems like the next logical step. Alright, so here we are. This looks like a place we've never been before. Huh. I don't just break it like that, right? No? Huh. Is this something I have to do that charge with and do some shenanigans with that? Yeah, okay, I think I think I may see what I have to do. This is gonna take quite a few inputs though. Whoop. Mess that up. I'm meaning to dash under this, but keep my uh my Haruka hustle going. Oh wait, maybe No, that wouldn't work either. I was thinking maybe I could char uh get it from the uh charge like, I could charge it up and then wall jump is what I was trying to get out, but my, my mouth wasn't wasn't cooperating. Huh. You do just press down while doing a Haruka Hustle, right? To do the, like, Haruka Hustle slide kick? It's not... doesn't seem to be working right now. Yeah. It works when I do it right there. Like, I'm running and then I just press down. Maybe I'm not doing it soon enough. Maybe? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it wants to work. I assume I need Haruka Hustle over there to actually break that, though. Or maybe I'm forgetting about some mechanic again. I can't just destroy it with a uh, arrow, right? No, that's not the case. And you don't have enough distance here to actually charge... Oh, cool, I can break through it with that. Nice. Well, that makes it easier. I wasn't sure if I would, if I had to break through it with that, or if I had to use the Haruka Hustle to get past that, but, oh well. We found it out. We solved the mystery. So, I think, whoop. I think now we have to go up here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so up here, and then there's various things up here. This even leads to, like, what seems to be a new level transition. So we can see what... Ow. Please don't do that. That is pain for Ajna. Ajna does not like pain. So yeah, we'll go up here and see if we can find anything in this zone, I suppose. Ooh, spikes. That's what we found. Almost found our death. That would be a not very good thing to find. It's in fact not what I want to find at all. Just slowly float our way up here. All right. So now we have a little save point, and yeah, there's something up here. Yeah, there's whatever this is. Hello, I can reach you now. But what is your purpose? Well, there's a ring cell, for one. Wonder if we're gonna get enough of those to actually upgrade again. I, I imagine to upgrade again, we have to get every single one in the game, which I don't think is going to happen. <laughs> I don't think I can pull that off. Hmm. Can I... Okay, that does get me some more... That does get me further up, but... I, don't, I still don't think I can do anything with that. Oh yeah, here's where the weird llama poodles are. I love them. They're so adorable. No, pupper. Go away. Okay, there's something up there. I just have to figure out how to actually get up there. Huh. That's something I have to Haruka hustle through, I believe. No, I can destroy it with that. Cool. I guess I can destroy just about anything with this that also gets destroyed by the uh, Haruka hustle. Okay. Huh. There's a save point up here? Did I never find this before, or am I just looking at the map wrong? Probably that one. I have to keep referring to this map. Alright, what's up here? Really, nothing. Well, that's interesting. What is the point of this little location? Yeah, no, there's nothing. Is there anything down here? Oh yeah, there's a ring cell. Okay. Another one of those that I missed, apparently. Okay, well... The only other places left are kind of just 
straight to the right. So I wonder which one of these areas leads to Kampan. Besides this right here, that seems to be everything in this entire zone. So, yeah, just for the sake of brevity, and so I'm not just running around for two hours trying to find out where this is, uh, I'm going to look up some notes about Kampan's uh, side quest. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, I have found out what we're supposed to do. Um, it would have been nice if there uh, was a marker to let me know that this uh, was indeed where we need to go. But that little shaft, that is what we need to go up. No, pupper. Go away. Also, cat. Sorry, you can't sit with me right now, kitty. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to uh, Maha Haruka hustle up here. Uh, which means I actually have to store it correctly. There we go. So this is the only way we can get the upward momentum that we need to climb through the sands. And apparently, this is where the um, stuff for Kampan's quest is hidden. I understand they couldn't just put a marker out here in the ether, because that would, that would just be weird, like where the map's not filled in. But it would have been nice to have at least a marker at the bottom of that column to give me some idea of where I'm supposed to be heading. Uh, is that Kushi's bird? It's the stash. I, I forgot to read that first line, so it said, it's the stash. Wow, there's a lot. And it's ours for the taking. But there's, a uh, a bird. You're the king of thieves? Just an overgrown magpie? I don't trust birds. You can never tell what they're thinking. Wow, good thing we don't have Kushi here. Okay, there we go. Well, except Altun. He's cool. Ajna, let's mess him up. Yeah. What, just for wanting to keep his stash, we're going to basically murder him? Alright. I mean, not not sure about how nice of a decision this is, but let's go for it, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. And that should finish it. Yeah, fights are kind of a joke now, um, but whatever. I wonder if there's any, like, super hard mega bosses in this game. Serves you right. You're gonna get reincarnated to something even worse in your next life. Yeah, like a butt. Now let's see about this treasure. There's enough to feed so many people in the Iron Kingdom slums. Ajna, can we go spread this around a bit? Sure. Wait, so... So we got it. We good. We got all the treasure. Okay, cool. Well, there doesn't appear to be a teleport around here, so I guess I'm gonna run all the way back to town. So I'll see you after my hiking adventures through the sands. All right, here we are back in the Iron Kingdom, and I guess we have to distribute this stuff to the poor? Well, well, if it isn't... Okay, I thought maybe we'd give it to her and she would do it for us, but no. Evidently, we do need to find uh, these supposed characters. Hello. Oh, wait, you you got your money back. Yeah, we... Jeez. My cat knocked over something like a fool. He had a clothes basket sitting in there, and he, he cl tried to climb into it like an idiot. All right. Finally made it to the Iron Kingdom. Jeez, it's a lot bigger than I imagined. All right, I need to get to work. No one is going to accomplish my dreams for me. Okay, you're very clearly... Maybe, maybe you? Good news, friends. You stopped the tide of war, and I found a job. Oh, well, that's great. Where? A friend of mine got some work rebuilding some town called Ashwat. Invited me to come along. That's where I'm from. That's great. Well, that's an odd coincidence. The only folks willing to listen to my troubles are from the only place willing to help me out. Much obliged to all of you. Things are starting to look up for this old dog. I'm so glad. Okay, so that's not one up. Oh, maybe you. Yeah, you're definitely one. Hey, you look a bit down on your luck. I am. Just lost my home. Well, how about this? You're you're giving me all this money? Why not? You deserve it. Thank you so much. I, I don't know what to say. With this, I can house my family and friends for a year. Glad to hear it. Spread, spread it around a bit. 
Okay, Ajna, let's redistribute some more of this loot. Okay. Where do you think we would go to redistribute more of this loot? Any ideas, Kampan? Um... I mean, it's probably mostly just in this green area, if I had to guess. So, how about we check over here next? I mean, that guy obviously doesn't need any money. You're not poor. Uh, not sure about you either. Butcher? Hi, friend. Need a helping hand? I sure could use it. My parents are sick and I can't afford the treatment. Will this about cover it? All this money. Why? Let's just say I'm your fairy godmother. With this much, I could get them the best treatment in the land. Excellent. Give them my best. Okay, all set here. Let's go spread the rest of this money around. Okay. Well, that I didn't expect that character to be one of them, but... I guess it would be weird if they were all the same model. What about you? Yeah. Hey there, how's it going? Well, you know, bad. What's wrong? Hungry. Well, how about a bunch of money? I can't eat that. You can use it to buy food. Oh, right. It's been so long that I'd forgotten. Off with you then, and be sure to feed your friends too. Isn't he inspecting gold, like, right now? Or is that corn? I'm not, I'm not sure. Because, I mean, it doesn't look like corn to me, but that one character in uh, Kanul also has corn that looks like that. That felt great! We helped so many people. It always feels nice to help people. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Just one more thing I forgot to do. Stay here. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to go. Right, let's go. Wait. What is that? What's what? Your arm. It's gold. Oh, this old thing? It was always like that. It wasn't. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. You bought a gold arm? Huh, <sighs> fine, fine. I guess I did. But I needed it for my medical collection. You don't have a medical collection. I do. It's called not having enough gold, and I just cured myself. Or, oh, I, I read that as collection. She must have meant condition. Or, I must have meant condition. Okay. Totally read that wrong. Dang it, Kampan. The nascent do-gooder did the right thing. Mostly. Kampan. Hey, and there we are. Our three uh, main party members have all had their quests done. There we go. So, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to... Ow. Okay, listen here, you little jerk. That is it. Death to you. I am I am tired of these little gremlin guys. Every time I've been trying to run through the Iron Kingdom, they always hit me with their stupid wrench. So, you know what? This time, they're gonna die. A horrible, horrible death. You too, come on. Death to gremlins. I think that's what these enemies were uh, called, at least this variant. Yeah, get out of here. I'm tired of your shit. Cool. So, yeah, when I when I spoke to Tharwa, what was it you said? Come to me for guidance and let's see what I can see. You have set yourself on the right path. All that stands between you and your ultimate face, fate is a final confrontation with Kala on the Mount Sumeru's summit. Okay, so... Can we... Can we still teleport there? Or can we not teleport to Lon at all now. Do we have to... Whoop. Didn't mean to go here. Yeah, I'm ready to get out. Alright, back to Merifa. So, yeah, I'm curious if we can teleport there. I think that final open slot that we have on the uh, teleporter might be what uh, Lon used to be. So, maybe we can't teleport there? I'll be sad if so. Although I do think some areas around here connect to Sumeru. So we would have to we would have to walk there, but it wouldn't be that bad. Okay. So can we teleport to Lon? Is that Lon? It is. Okay, so we can go to Lon. I also think I mean I I have 
uh, Kushi and Zebe's quest. So, as long as it's not too weird, I guess we can go ahead and do that one as well. I mean, it hopefully it won't be too bad. Trying to see how long I've been recording. Okay. Nothing too bad. So this place seems kind of busted up now, unfortunately. Well, kind of is a bit of an understatement. It seems very busted up. Wait, if that leads there, what was down the other path? Got me curious. Curiouser uh, and curiouser. Uh. What do you have up here? Nothing. Just a dead end that made me waste my and everyone else's time? Cool, cool, cool. Just wanted to make sure. You know, not, uh, not kind of sad or anything. Wasn't hoping for a ring cell or nothing. Whoop, totally missed. A marksman, Ajna is not. And I just kicked the shit out of you. Here we are. Yeah, this place does not look good. It's completely destroyed after all. It's not as bad as you think. The monks, they knew this would happen, and they got out in time. They'll be back. They'll rebuild this place. I understand some of what they were trying to tell me now. I wish I had seen it sooner. I could have stopped so much suffering. Well, what's done is done, so there's no point in dwelling on the past now. No sense dwelling on the past. You can't judge yourself for what you've done. Just do better from now on. <laughs> that, that was a very good line, but I find it incredibly hilarious that I said the exact same thing right before Razmi pipes up and says this. Also, that's probably the nicest thing Razmi said this entire game. What was that, Razmi? Did you just say something nice? What the hell? <laughs> Am I the characters? Is, is this game just about me? That, that was two lines in a row where I basically said the exact same thing they were about to say. No. Leave me alone. Oh. Thanks, Razmi. Whatever. Let's just get you giant and gross again. That's what we're all here for. That's true. To Sumeru, then. All right. Yeah, I guess... I guess this is it. So, this trip to Sumeru must be the final one. There's those weird spike balls up there. But what about over here? Also weird spike balls. How do I traverse the weird spike balls? Can I flower them? I can flower them. Uh, doesn't seem like much of a point in doing so, however. Hmm. Well, oh wait, can I just, can I just charge through them? No. Oh, okay, I can bust them up like that. Okay, good to know. Well, I imagine if uh, Kushi and Zebe do have a quest, it's probably up here. So let's see if we can bust through these. Yeah. Well, I, I know they have a quest. That was stupid to say. Okay, yeah, here it is. Really is destroyed, isn't it? Barely a trace left. Oh, but here, there's still some scraps of our sacred bell. It protected the monastery from evil forces when it was whole. Sorry, again, I'm sorry. I couldn't protect against you because you're not evil. Damn my good in oh, <laughs> I thought she said damn. No, darn my good intentions. Still, this is amazing. If we can fix this, it'll be like Lon was really back in business. So how do we repair it? Hmm, the bell was forged by an odd drunkard of a monk. He spent most of his time in Tai Krung and would only come to Lon when summoned. Well, let's go get him. All right. Well, yeah, I think... I think finishing off their quest to fix what we messed up in, um, in Lawn is a good kind of, uh, cap off to, uh, the whole side questing part of this series, I guess. Are we supposed to be able to make it across that? Excuse me? Let me see here. Let me do some, uh, 
thinking. Can't bounce. There, there is a platform over there, damn it. Wow. It really does seem like I can make it. There's just nothing to give me enough forward momentum. Hmm. Abilities? Longwood's Blessing. Yeah. Compound Corkscrew. I mean, that would kind of maybe? No, it wouldn't be better. Savage Divide. Okay, I know how to do that. Bomb Shot. Hmm. If only there was an enemy halfway that I could shoot with that. So that I could use them as a platform. Pirate Sleep. Scallywag Spring. That didn't work. Barnacle Grip. Sky Splitter. Goddess. Wow, we have a lot more abilities than it. Fire a powerful projectile that can break through certain enemies' defenses. Huh. I forgot about that. Okay, so we don't we don't really have anything that can help us out there. Maybe we get another ability? Something like the giant horizontal dash you get in uh, Hollow Knight, maybe? Like this, except it goes across the entire screen until you hit a wall. Oh well. We have to uh, leave to go investigate some things anyway. So, I think it said we were going to go off to Tai Krung. So, how about we head over there? At least it's a very, very quick trip um, to get from uh, Tai Krung all the way back to uh, Lawn. Now that I've remembered that, yeah, we have a teleport spot. So, yay! Hooray for not having to basically hoof it all the way back up that mountain. Whew. It's crazy to think that we're almost at the end of this game now. It, it's been a pretty crazy adventure with its ups and its downs, obviously. But wow, it's been a really, really fun game. I'm super glad that I got it and uh, I played it. Is Ty Krung? Yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. All right, will the game give me a quest marker? Time to find out. Ooh. No. Ooh. Quest marker. I mean, there's that. Oh, yeah. We do have a quest marker. Cool. I'm very, very happy about that. Unfortunately... Okay, no, it won't be that bad to get to. All right, well, I'll see you over there by that quest marker so you don't have to sit here and watch me run through this forest. All right, here we are. We're pretty close. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and evade this enemy. All right, so apparently the old monk is over here. Is it you? Wow, you're just straight up an avatar character, aren't you? You look like you're a firebender. Uh, okay, so here's our old monk. Is this the drunken old monk you were talking about? The one who fixes bells? That's him. Um... Um, excuse me, sir, but we'd like your help with... Feh, more pilgrims. Like I told the others, I'm not a monk anymore. Leave me alone. You embarrass yourself, sir. You embarrass yourself, or you embarrass myself. Coming up here asking for guidance. Don't you know lawn is destroyed? It's all gone. What's the point? The point of enlightenment isn't the place with the process... Isn't the place, but the process, but uh, that's actually what we're here about. We found pieces of the sacred bell. That old thing? <laughs> I can make one of those in my sleep. Then, will you? Maybe if you buy me another drink. <laughs> it's clear that you've had enough. But how did you get it anyway? What are you poking around lawn for? I'm a protector. Kushi here is an apprentice. Most of the squad seems to have scattered, and we hoped fixing the bell would encourage others to return. Feh, that I can, can't, then I can't lie to you. I could repair the bell, but the material used to construct it is incredibly rare. I used to repair it with leftover scrap, but to reconstruct it, you'd need to go get the source. Whatever it is, we'll find it. It is your funeral. Ancient texts say the bell is made from the metal shell of a turtle that lives in the caves of Sumeru. A turtle? Not just any turtle. This one's real big. It's a demon. Nobody has seen one in decades. If it exists, we will find it. Do what you want. Now where's my beer? Wow, we didn't even buy him the beer. Hmm, okay, cool. And we have a fast way to get back uh, out of here because that's our teleporty spot.
cool. So we have our next objective. I guess we're just going to... Wow, I just broke through that poor door. It didn't do anything to me. So yeah. Oh, hey, Zubaz. I forgot about you. You've got a long way to go if you want to get tough like me. We kicked your ass. I'm definitely gonna. Rock on, little dude. Huh. Is he not a character you can recruit? I was sure that he would. The only other way I can think of getting him is um, if he's part of like somebody else's companion quest and that's how you unlock him. I'm not really sure he, who he would like be a part of though. Rin is like the only other character that's even here. It might just be a cameo. Like you might not actually get the character on your team. I might have been incorrect about that. In fact, I probably was. All right, here's our waypoint. Now we can head back to Lawn. And once we get to Lawn, I think this will probably be a good spot to go ahead and end this episode off as I have been recording for 50 minutes. So it'll probably be about a 30 minute video, if I had to guess, given on uh, how much I cut out, but I might be uh, uh, getting that incorrect. Whoop, forgot, I gotta do my teleporty punch. Wait, was there a save point up here? There was not. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.